Hello everyone. The Lord be with you and also with you. It's the beginning of a new week. The beginning of a new liturgical year. The beginning of Advent. There's lots to look forward to as we prepare to celebrate Christ's first coming and await his second. Even while we keep our eye on the new COVID variant, in fact, we know that viruses do mutate and change. It's not unexpected. So perhaps we should leave all that to the scientists. We just need to keep our eyes on the Lord. And with that in mind, let's read from Isaiah chapter 2, verses 1 to 5. Isaiah kept his eyes on the Lord and God gave him this vision. It's a vision of all the nations streaming up to the mountain of God. It's a vision of a place of mediation where God will be the judge and bring peace to the nations. So here it is, Isaiah 2 verses 1 to 5. This is what Isaiah, son of Amos, saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem. In the last days, the mountain of the Lord's temple will be established as chief among the mountains. It will be raised above the hills and all nations will stream to it. Many peoples will come and say, come, let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the God of Jacob. He will teach us his ways so that we may walk in his paths. The law will go out from Zion, the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. He will judge between the nations and will settle disputes for many peoples. They will beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nation will not take up sword against nation, nor will they train for war any more. Come, O house of Jacob, let us walk in the light of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. That phrase, they will beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks, never fails to give me goosebumps. The words are carved into the wall in New York's Peace Park, across from the United Nations building. And there's also a nine foot high bronze statue sculpted by a Russian in the UN grounds, depicting a man beating a sword into a plowshare, symbolizing humankind's desire for an end to war. If only. As I speak, there is conflict in many parts of the world. It may not be quite the same as the two world wars, mm -hmm. But there are territorial disputes, civil wars, religious wars going on in many places, and political instability is a constant problem, let alone criminal violence. Imagine going into a township area here in South Africa and collecting all the weapons that you could find. They certainly haven't been turned into plowshares. And the people of Isaiah's time were no different. At the beginning of his vision, recorded in chapter 1, he hears God calling them a brood of evildoers. We all, then and now, fall tragically short of our Creator's wish for us. And we shouldn't forget that as we contemplate and celebrate that wonderful vision of peace, all the people coming together, talking together and putting aside their differences. I think that this quote from Dietrich Bonhoeffer, Bonhoeffer puts it into perspective for us. He says, the celebration of Advent is possible only to those who are troubled 
in soul, who know themselves to be poor and imperfect, and who look forward to something greater to come. So let us remember that as we look forward to celebrating the first coming of Jesus this Christmas and anticipate his coming in glory again. We want to walk in his light. And so let us do our part, however small it might be, to promote peace and understanding between people. I've chosen another song for today's midday prayer, which is perhaps not overtly Christian, although it does mention God. And it was written by Michael Jackson, an imperfect human being, like me and like you. But I still think the song has something to say to us. It's Heal the World. And I've chosen a version sung and played by young people. And as I listened to it, I found myself praying that they would find a better world to live in. I could see that vision of God's mountain with these young people streaming towards it, towards God. Before we listen to it, let's pray. Heavenly Father, we know that we have all failed to keep to your path. We have strayed, Lord, and we are sorry. But we also know that as we follow Jesus, we have been saved and redeemed. Help us to use our time now to make this world better, to help people get on better together. May we be peacemakers in our small part of your world. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. We also pray, Lord, against this new strain of the coronavirus. May it not take hold, Lord. May we be protected against it. We pray that all those who are infected will recover soon. We pray for all those who have already had their Christmas travel plans disrupted, families that will not be able to be reunited this Christmas. We pray for them, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. I'm going to pray this week's collect. Almighty Father, your Son came to us in humility as our Saviour, and at the last day he will come again in glory as our Judge. Give us grace to turn away from darkness to the light of Christ, that we will be ready to welcome him, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. We pray for our country. Lord, grant us a vision for our land, a land of justice where none shall prey on others, a land of plenty where poverty shall cease to fester, a land of work where all can be employed, a land of openness where all are accepted as equal, a land of healing where hatred and racial prejudice exist no more, a land of peace which is free of violence, to bring this vision to fruition. For Jesus Christ's sake. Amen. We pray the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, 
Jesus Christ, our Lord, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you, all whom you love, for whom you pray, now and always. Amen. And so, go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Goodbye, everybody. Lots of love to you all, and stay safe.
Hey guys, that was Michael Jackson's Heal the World for You. If you like this song, subscribe to our channel. Share, like, comment so that we can make more songs like this. To listen to more of our music, check out the links below. We loved creating this song and if you like the song, do press the like button and children are listening to you. Comment. We had a ball making this song. So check out how this song was made over the internet.